Hello and a very warm welcome to this very special dedicated server multiplayer series on the Angevin countryside with me, Wasteland Gaming. Hello everybody and welcome along, welcome to the channel, welcome to Angevin countryside. We are on the dedicated survey that myself and Cobbler Farms have got set up and we are well, I say both of us. Cobbler has done a lot of the work, but um, yes, welcome along. We have two other players on the server just uh, just now. So we have Farm Sim Snowy, and we have the Farming Sims. Um, so please do check out the channels. I've put the links to their channels uh, in the description. So uh, the plan is that this is going to be a uh, sort of a playthrough. Um, we're all on start from scratch. And yeah, as you can see, my money's at 254,737. Uh, we'll change that to euros actually, since we are in France. And um, yeah, the the idea is that we yeah, we're on start from scratch, so we've all got same amount of money, 200,000 pounds in debt. And yeah, the idea is to work cooperatively to conquer the map. So the map at the moment looks just like this. Um, so yeah it's a fantastic map this if you've not been on it um, brilliant brilliant map so um, yeah really really like it lots of small small fields but um, yeah that's that's good for this definitely so over here is my area here if we just go down there actually a bit easier to see so yeah just walk down the road and I've got 45 41 44 43 and a very small area here and we'll show you that in a second. And then, yeah, I think this is Cobbler Farms' uh, area down here. So he's in the orange, and he's got these fields down here. Farm some snowy is down here, and he's got this area out the other side of the forest. And then up here, we have the farming sims, and his area is all up here. So yeah we've all picked our spots we've all taken our land uh, and then i think as i'm recording this last night um snowy has done this uh, a harvest on this area so and yeah the whole idea of this episode for me is to get set up and get organized the the gameplay pace is going to be pretty slow so we've we've got this set up so uh time runs quite slow at the moment it's at um, 0.5 but I think as of today and tonight the the, the system is going to be fully live and um, so basically the game setup is server the server will run 24 7 and it gets rebooted once a day at five o'clock in the morning and the the time dilation we're going to have is um, the days and months are going to be 21 day season um, and time dilation of times three, which basically equates to one month um, uh, is uh, seven days in real life. So, yeah, so it means that people can just jump on and jump off whenever they need to. Um, the Bank of Angevin uh, owns the periphery of the map and the player can provide work for the bank. I like doing snow blowing or mowing or, or whatever it is uh, and like I said before we're starting from scratch uh, with 500,000 in the bank um, and then yeah a 200,000 euro loan the difficulty level is on normal and yeah we've got the trailer fill limit on and fuel uh, usage is on normal so Let's uh, let's have a wander around. So over here I have a potato field, um, which is in pretty good nick. Um, obviously I can't do much else to it other than a bit of weeding, so I might put some uh, spray on there. Uh, we have an old oat field here that needs uh, sorting out. And then further down here, this, this side, we have this field here which stretches all the way around actually and comes into here as well so this field's pretty big and I chose this plot purely because it has a couple of things um, in fact just quickly end up down here because our other fields down here as well so uh, over here we have a corn field as well 
and this isn't fully grown yet um, but uh, yeah it needs a little bit of work doing to it um, so we need to put more fertilizer on that and stuff yeah so the field stretches all the way around and round here and then yeah comes back through this little, little gap we'll show you all the farm stuff in a second and then yeah back around here so it's quite a nice big field and what I'm thinking is I'm going to split this field into maybe two or even three and use this area here as a bit of a a farmyard as well because as it stands this is all we have just now we have this barn which is fantastic um because it does have um a workshop trigger in it here as well although you can't see it we do have a fuel tank um in there as well um so that's our little barn just now um whether i sell that or move it at least um is another matter and we have pigs so this will hold 109 pigs and uh yeah i thought i'd give pigs a go because i've not been uh, not been able to not done pigs yet so far and if i'm similar to any two we got 19 um, um, on my Ohio series, um, but yeah, time to time to give them a go again. And then I have put myself in a little tent because we don't have anywhere to live just now. So we've got a nice temporary tent, and a sleep trigger there, and yeah, a little place to check our outfits. So I think yeah, that's that's our land. That is what we own just now. So really, I need to go and get stuff set up. Um, just going back to the rules and everything else like that. So as I mentioned before, the goals of the series are as such to own all the land available on the map um, by all the players, um, but also to own and run at least all the production chains installed on the default map. We have, uh, myself and Cobbler have installed a lot of cell points on this map. Um, purely just to give people more choice. Um, so if I go into the cell selling areas yeah we've in import uh Angevin exports is one um let's have a look yeah mario and luigi's pizzeria and taco bandito and the, yeah there's there's a lot in there that we've added in and um, just to give us more choice and more competition between the different prices so as you can see certainly like for potatoes yeah there's absolutely loads of choices there um so yeah we're gonna yeah it's gonna be quite good fun because you can yeah go to all the different cell points on the map um <coughs> the final thing really is the special rules for the map so the special rules um no i ai workers are allowed on this map um cost of labor um is two thousand dollars and uh euros an hour um and the money needs to be transferred between players um Hours can be exchanged between players as well, and no field work during the rain, and no autoload bale or pallet equipment. No selling of fields, and livestock has to be transported by the players, excluding chickens. So yeah, we can, we can, we need to be able to transport our own animals. So if I need to get pigs in here, then I need to bring them here myself. I can't just get them delivered, so to speak. So I think what we'll do, uh, we'll head across the stores. We'll maybe get um, some equipment. In fact, no, actually, we'll do some farming, farm setup, I think, first, and then see what money we've got left after that. So I think I'll set up a bit of a time lapse for that, and yeah, we'll get the get the farm built, and yeah, then we can move on from there.
Okay, there we go then. So, got everything done. It took us a little while just because uh, it did. And I haven't got much money left, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll manage, I'm sure. So, I put the division in here, so we now have this separate field here. Uh, and then, yeah, obviously I've put uh, tarmac all around here. Put some lighting in as well. And then, first big thing, silo. This is a multi-fruit silo, um, but I may well just use it for normal products as opposed to everything. Um, just so it's a bit more realistic. Uh, but that's that's in there. There, I've got some lighting here. It's another small shed there. And then over this side of the farm yard, we have another barn here. So a couple of barns, and then I put in an extra pig pasture. Um, so we can juggle pigs uh, once they start breeding and getting more. So obviously we'll have some in here and then we can put some in here so we'll just keep juggling them back and forwards and um, so that's that's it a little bit more lighting there as well so that is my farm and now it remains to be done is to head up to the dealership and we'll go and get some vehicles and then yeah we'll bring them all back to the farm here and we'll see you back here once we've purchased everything all right see you in a minute Okay, here we go then. This is the final lot of stuff delivered to the farm. As you can see, I'm in a nice Fiat Stroke New Holland Fiat Agri 18090. So, got this here, and then we've got uh, this trailer and the bright green forks will probably let you into the secret of what else I've got here. Um, I bought some fertilizer because I thought A I can do some fertilizing contracts and build my money up because I'm now down to 1543 um, and yeah I can also um, yeah get this cornfield fertilized as well because that definitely needs some fertilizer on it and the the two the fields that uh, have go, got no crops at the moment need fertilizer as well. So I bought myself this, the Kuhn Access, uh, uh, Kuhn Access 402. And yeah, this does lime as well. And then I've got myself Animal Trailer, which is the roll on the foot roll, uh, roll van. And then a class uh, trailer. And then over here, I've bought myself a planter. So we've gone for the in-game one, um, so yeah, this is the Agrimash Falcon, so yeah, nice 3 meter planter, and then we've got a water tank there. What I also did was I bought some pig food, so we've got pig food in there, um, and that's ready to go. And then in here we have the Avant, I've gone for the big one, the 750. And here yeah, I bought the front uh, bucket for that. It's got weights on the back for a little bit of stability. And then as you saw on the trailer back here, we have the, the pallet forks for that as well. So so all in all, pretty basic setup. Um, I think I will have to lease some equipment to start with. There's no question about that. Um, first main job I guess is to get some fertilizer onto here and uh, we'll get some fertilizer on the corn and then we need to get these fields mulched and um, so this this big field that's now in two uh, we'll need uh, to mulch that mulch the, the far away field there and then yeah set about getting them planted I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um put some sunflowers in uh, and some corn so I'll put more corn in because we'll need that for the pigs so I'll put more corn in and um, probably this one and some sunflowers in the other one and then over the other side I think we'll maybe put a cereal crop in but obviously I don't have the, the cedar just now uh, but we will get that eventually so I think I'll do for the setup video um, my next plan is for building wise is to get a water tank or we'll get a water tank put in um, so you can use that for the pasture here um, and then I think yeah get some pigs on the go 
um, and then see what the other guys want to do as well. Um, might need if, uh, if I can help them out with anything. Some labour that's going to build my money up because I'm pretty short of cash just now. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this setup video. If you have done, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to subscribe to the channel, please do. And if you want to share a comment, you're more than welcome to. Um, more farming fun on the Avangine, Avangine countryside uh, coming up. And hopefully we'll get the first proper episode out very, very soon. But in the meantime, take care.